Okay, I'm about ready to put this quarter, um, about ready to weld it on. Um, I've done all my fitment. You can see here, I got the gaps pretty tight. And some of that I'll manipulate as I'm welding. So I can still shift it around just a little bit. Um, on this door jam, it's just going to have tack welds on the edges. I'm not going to drill little holes and try to fill them. I'll just tack it on the edges and that'll take care of that. Um, I've already prepped the wheel well, so all that's ready to go. Same way down here in the quarter on the back side, or the outside of the uh, extension there. And one, one more thing I just want to show you before I go move on. This little lip that I talked about earlier, um, you can see I kind of flattened out this piece. The problem I had was it was too short. So in other words, you can see where this is too far in from this. Once I get it in place, I'll manipulate this so it's a little stiffer, and I'll move this radius out so it comes up and meets into this cutout right here, this little, little notch. Um, I don't know why they make these that way, but they're just a little bit short, and you just kind of kind of manipulate it. And there's metal there; it's folded over. I just unfolded it and then flatten out the radius in the back a little bit. But uh, otherwise, it all looks pretty good. And when I was talking about making the fitment with the tailpiece and everything, you can see the gap is a little bit, just a little bit tighter up here. But before I put the, well, the tailpiece in, I can shift it over. Kind of hard to show you here. But I can shift it over um, just by putting a little pressure on. And that'll make me make it all line up better at the end. Moving on. Thought I'd show you a little bit of this um, welding. Now, like I, I don't know if I've shown before, but anytime you're doing a, a butt weld like this, you want to make sure that you don't put too much heat because you'll burn through, kind of like there. But you also can't just weld, 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 weld. You have to bounce around because if it gets too hot it'll make the metal warp so I'm just going to do a little bit of bouncing around and welding And as you can see, you just keep moving around. Now, normally what I do is when I get to this point, I don't want to keep working on this because I know that I'll get excited and I want to just keep going and going and going and I'll put it in hot spots and make it work. So at this point, I'll let this cool down and I'll bounce around to somewhere else. I may work on the, the back section as I talked about before, um, you know, down there, weld in the arch, something like that. But at this point, um, I want to stop what I'm doing right here and just let that cool down, and then I'll move around. Let me show you a little bit with this door. Um, there's a lot of adjustments you can make on these doors. I don't know if many people know, but you got, you know, three bolts there, three bolts there, and you can articulate the door a lot, like this, this way, this way back and forth so there's a lot of movement with this these two uh, mounts the other part is when you have the door to the hinge these bolts up here there's two there and three there that allows you to move the door in and out for the most part and in and out this way you can make it a pivot or in and out directly also you can do a little bit of up and down that being said, when you put these doors on, and a lot of people struggle with doors and have a hard time getting the adjustments right, but one of the big things is the reveal. 
and that's the bottom line where the door meets the rocker. The rocker isn't going to move, so you adjust the door to fit the rocker. You also adjust it to fit the body seam. So I, you can see I've got this one in place. And another thing on these Mustangs up front is where the rocker ends and the door, the line of the door follows the shape of the rocker. So that gets everything pretty close to where it's supposed to be. Now I'm doing this, I'm saying this because I'm putting on aftermarket quarter panels. So the door is adjusted where it should be and also I don't put the striker in because you should adjust the door to where it's relaxed and the striker should adjust to the door. So keep that in mind when you're doing these. Um, when I put this right quarter on, I did notice it had somewhat of a lip right here. And by that I mean it, it sticks out. You can see my finger goes in past that edge. So they kind of have it shaped a little weird. The originals wouldn't have been shaped like that. But this is what you have to work with. So I put the quarter, of course it's in place, and I've mounted up the door, and I have a bit of a problem with the gap. Down at the bottom, it's nice. Now this is a quarter that fits the car like it should. Come up towards the top and it gets really tight. So what I'm doing, and you can kind of see, I took a cutoff wheel and I'm going to section this right here. And I'll cut away enough material and slowly work that lip back to where this reveal is about the same width either down here or to match the door to the rocker. So this is just part of the process. Um, you can't expect these things to fit perfect. And But once I'm done and get that adjusted, this will look just about, I should say just about perfect. Um, Maybe a little thicker than a paint stick, but we'll see. So just pay attention. Okay, I showed you how close that door gap was. And what I'm going to do to widen it is I cut a, a little more metal out of that gap, uh, you know, obviously behind the door. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll push it back and weld it into place. It'll take a little effort to get it back there, but that'll take care of that gap and uh, make the door fit a lot better. Now you can see I just pushed it back, tack welded it together. And now, nice gap, consistent all the way down. It looks a little off here and there because of the uh, where I took the paint off, but this is the edge inside here. And uh, sometimes you got to do some things to make the pieces fit. But I think it'll turn out pretty good when it's got a little bit of just a little bit of filler on top of it and smooth it up to match the door.